Hey everybody, it's Tracy from Downward Dog Rising, and I'm going to give you a quick Pilates session so you can work your core a little bit. I'm just getting ready to leave work, and I'm going to do either later on tonight or tomorrow like a yoga workout, like a yoga bedtime workout to help you sleep better. And then I just figured I'm going to do a little Pilates session too so I could get two videos out. Okay, so if you want to do some Pilates and strengthen your core, then join me and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to ask you to sit on your mat. And you're just gonna have your knees bent, your feet flat, and then I want you to reach your hands under the backs of your thighs. You're gonna rise up to the top of your head on your inhale, and then I just want you to do a C curve back exhale. So you're gonna inhale, rise up, warm up your spine, exhale, abdominals tighten into your back. So you're just gonna inhale, think of a string, left in breastbone to sky. Exhale, peel behind those two sits bones. Two more. Inhale, and then exhale. One more time, you're gonna inhale, and then exhale. Now as you go down to your mat, you're gonna inhale, then you're gonna exhale again, Pull your core really elongated into your spine as you lower down to the mat. Inhale, exhale, elongate between the vertebra. Roll down, tighten and exhale. Roll down a little bit more, lengthen, lengthen. Inhale, exhale, pull the ribs apart, pull the spine apart all the way down. There you are. So you made it down to your mat. We're going to do a chin nod. You tilt your chin up. Tilt your chin down. You want to hit the area at the base of the skull, the occiput. Tilt up and tilt down. Releasing the neck up and down. Okay, tip of nose. You're going to draw little circles on the ceiling. Nose circles. Relax the mouth. Relax the jaw. Relax your face. Now you're in your second vertebra. That's responsible for rotating. The axis, reverse, other direction. Okay, you should be feeling this like under the ear lobe, sides of neck elongating. Return back to neutral. Okay, next, float your arms above your shoulders. Now, we're going to do something called protracting, retracting your scapula, which are the two shoulder blades in your back. The shoulder blades lift. And they slap back to the mat. They lift up and then they lower down. They lift and then they lower. Space mid back between those two shoulder blades. They lift up, they lower down. They lift up, they lower down. Four, three, feel that middle back, thoracic spine. Have more space. Two, last one. Okay, screw in the light bulb. What's that? The blades go up, the thumbs half turn to sides means away from you, externally rotate arm bones into shoulder sockets, thumbs rotate in, blades come down, up and out, in and down, up and out, in and down, the blades lift, they turn, back in and down, up, thumbs up, thumbs in, down, screw in that light bulb, four, and three, we want your arm bones deep down into the shoulder socket, so that way it doesn't hurt the shoulder joint. Last one. We want to be able to stabilize those middle back muscles down the back. All right, next. What I want you to do here, bend your elbows. Keep them wide open to the sides because we want to avoid pulling our head and neck forward out of alignment. You keep the spine long. Inhale. Now I want you to feel the core pull all the way tight to your spine and just do a little head float. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, float your head up. Inhale, exhale, float your head up. It should feel like it's coming from your core. Exhale, six, five. You could look towards navel. Scoop your core in, make sure you're not pushing it up. Four, scoop in, three. Exhale, two more, exhale, last one. All right, now place your hands on the sides of your rib cage, and then 
I'll do this sitting up so you can see. You're lying down on your back. You don't have to get up. When you inhale, watch what happens. The ribs expand in all directions. Oh, it looks like it's going to rain. And then your ribs wrap. I'm going to get my intercostals, the muscles between my ribs, to expand. And then I'm going to exhale the air out. And feel that my fingertips move closer together as I use my true breathing muscle, my diaphragm. So we want to inhale. So we want that increase in intra-abdominal pressure between the abdominal, the abdominal area, the lungs, the thorax, and the stomach cavity. Like everything just opens up. The intra-abdominal pressure increases. And that diaphragm is going to allow air to go up into the lungs with that pressure gradient. And then it comes down and falls and then that air gets out of the lungs because that pressure gradient changes again. So you want to get the deep, deep breath into those lower ribs to be efficient with your breath. So all of this doesn't cinch up, cramp up, and make all the accessory muscles up there super tight and uncomfortable and change your posture and your alignment. So what I want you to do, you could do this with your head down. So if you have osteoporosis, you're not gonna curl your head up and neck up and do hundreds with your head up. You're just going to stay down on the mat like this, even though if you do a head flow and you don't curl, when you just float up and you keep the neck long, you could do that with osteoporosis, you're supporting your neck. So when we do our hundreds, you're creating length. So think of an ocean wave, it lifts, it rolls over itself. So what you would do, you would pull your blades down your back, neck is long, chin comes slightly forward, blades down, shoulders down. You could float the knees up and start pumping the arms where you inhale and then you exhale. So I'll do the different variations. You inhale, you could have knees bent, you could have legs straight, you exhale. You could start to lower, but the back stays on the mat. Exhale, 30. You could do Pilates V, breathing in. And then exhale, 40, just moving, arms breathing in. Maybe the legs come lower. Exhale, 50, inhale. Exhale, 60, collarbones wide, breathe in. Exhale, 70, inhale. Exhale, 80, those ribs wrap, inhale. Exhale, 90. And then if you could keep your back done. Inhale and exhale 100. And then you would gently come in and then just hug one leg in, release that low back, and then hug the other leg in, release that low back. You can put hands underneath so there's no pressure on the knee joint. Feel the front of this hip open up. Inhale, exhale. And then I'm gonna give you a modification first for the roll up. And then nod your chin, scoop your core tight, roll up. And then so I'll give you a little modification that you could do. Okay, so say you have osteoporosis or herniated disc and it hurts your back to do C curve into it. So you wouldn't do spinal flexion. This is spinal flexion. So if that hurts your back, you wouldn't do it. What you could do instead to torque your core, you would pull your core tight to your back, and then maybe you would just hip hinge to activate these muscles here, and then you would lift up again. So instead of doing like a roll up, complete roll up, you would activate your core without rounding behind your sits bones. It's the front of the hips, you're on the, you're right on the sits bones. You just hinge without curling into the back of the pelvis. So you could do it this way. So that's flat back neutral, hip hinge, tighten the core, rise to the top of your head. So then you could also have your knees bent like we did earlier. And then this is gonna go into spinal flexion right there where that tailbone elongates under your body. So you would lengthen, 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 go all the way down. 
Inhale, stretch arms back, plug them into the back of your blades, nod your chin. You could take the hands back there, keep the width across chest, shoulders. Now this is the part where pulling into your center, you scoop, 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 so you don't push out, come back up and you would do it again. And then if you wanna do a full roll up, you would create the distance between the ribs and the hips. And you would stretch over those legs, space between ribs and hips. And then you would stack tall and roll that tailbone, really stretch legs far away from you, control the descent. Inhale, you're gonna stretch apart, head away from tailbone, really stretch two different directions. Inhale, exhale, use your core, use your core, rise up, reach over those legs, create that space between ribs and hips, really stretch those heels away, scoop in, scoop in, scoop in, scoop in, control down, inhale, exhale, go up, 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 over your legs, stretch, rising up, you're going to do that C curve, control, 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 making sure you're not pushing your core up, pull in, pull in, pull in, one more time, inhale, you're lengthening apart. Exhale, blades down back, shoulders down and back. Exhale, reach. Now as you come back up, what I want you to do here, and then if you were to do this, if you had osteoporosis, you're gonna keep your spine flat on the mat. Just lie flat on your back with your head down. So you would just come down on the mat, lie flat on your back right now. You don't have to do this version where you would take your bottom leg, this, not your bottom leg, your bottom leg can float. You would grab outside ankle, inside of your knee, and then you would use your deep abdominals. Now really scoop in, elongate into your spine, and roll down to the mat. And then what I want you to do here, I want you to feel like you can pull the leg in, the bent knee pulls in, so it's inside knee, outside ankle you're grabbing. As this bottom knee pulls in, this leg is stretching out. It's a opposing energy force. So if you have osteoporosis, you would keep your back on the mat. And then as you pull, you're gonna do, actually it's inside knee, outside ankle. I have to feel it sometimes in my body. And before I feel it, I might describe something opposite of what I mean to say. So you're gonna be flat, you're gonna elongate or lift, pull one side in, one, pull it, and then stretch the other side away from you. And then you're gonna pull it in and stretch heart. And exhale and inhale, pull in, stretch it apart. And four, exhale, inhale, pull it in, stretch it apart, exhale and inhale, create that length, and exhale, and inhale, last two, and exhale, inhale, head away from tailbone, last set, exhale, and inhale. Now knees come in, and then you're gonna stretch your arms all the way back over your head. Now, we don't wanna arch our thoracic spine, and we don't wanna lift our low back. To not arch the mid-back thoracic spine, you would, Lift your arms high up enough to where your ribs funnel down together in front. So that would be the point where you can actively stabilize your shoulder girdle in your back. You plug your arms into your back, and then you're gonna stretch your arms and legs in opposite directions and pull back in. So if you're modified, your head, neck stay down, you would just exhale all the air back out of the lungs. If you're lifting, you do a deep inhale and then exhale the air out of the lungs, making sure your abdominals pull in tight. I have a hard time talking and pulling my abs in tight. It's hard to do at the same time. So you, you inhale, exhale, pull them in. Three more. And inhale and then exhale, pull them in. Back is on mat. Maybe I'll do a couple extra. Three. Inhale, exhale, back is on mat. If your back arches, you have to lift your legs up higher. Two more. To go low, that's harder on the core and the back. To go high, your back stays on that hug in. And just gently rock side to side across the low back. Awesome. And then we're gonna stretch your legs straight down. 
And you're gonna press one heel against the mat, flex your foot, the leg that reaches up, your hip bones are straight, you're lengthening that leg, your toes are pointed. Think of chest open wide, arms reach long. Now, if you have a hip replacement, never do crossing over the midline. It's not good for your hip. You would do maybe tiny circle right there in line with your hip, that's it. So then we're gonna do a circle, inhale, exhale, close it out, breathe in. Exhale, engage side of hip and glute. Stabilize pelvis, inhale, exhale, three. Stretch toes to sky, two more. Inhale, exhale, pelvis is stable. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Now reverse, and inhale, exhale. Again, hip replacement, baby little circle right here. Keep it small, breathe in, breathe out. Three, inhale, exhale, pelvis is stable. Two, the other leg is reaching into the floor, into the mat. Last one, and just take that leg down, straight line across your hips, pelvis. Other leg lifts up, collarbones wide, arms reach long, head away from tailbone. Again, modified little baby circle like that, where you're gonna go around and come back in. And exhale, really work those core muscles, hips are to the sky. Work those obliques, ring out the corset. Bring out the wet towel. Last one. Reverse, go into the side of that hip and side glute. Inhale, exhale. Pump the air out of the lungs. Exhale, wrap, get the air out. Pull those obliques together. Pull those intercostals, wrap, those obliques, wrap. Three and two. Inhale, exhale, scoop in, last one. And gently stretch leg long into mat. Awesome. Okay, next, fold knees in. Feet flat, make sure your heels aren't like way up here because it'll make it awkward. Make sure your legs aren't all the way at the end of the mat, that's gonna make it awkward. Kinda have to have like two steps away from your glutes. Okay, always avoid pushing your weight into cervical spine neck. We do not wanna put our weight, our cervical spine isn't designed for that. So. Your weight goes across this area. You lift your shoulder blades up, you slap them down, and then you stretch the arms long. The weight's going through triceps, palms, across that mid upper back. So what you do, you tighten your abdominals in, your knees pull together, your hips are in line, knees, ankles, and then you rise up, keeping the chest open. You're elongating that energy line, shoulders, hips, past the knees, over the second toes, and then you bring your hips straight to the mat. This is a neutral hip hinge. You're pressing those hips to the sky. Your tailbone is long. You're engaging your glutes, and then you come straight down to the mat. Let's do three more. Exhale, make it good. Chest is open, and down. Two more. Exhale, and lift. Press hips to sky, and down. Two more. I might have just said two more. One more. And last one, hips to sky, engage your glutes, collarbones wide, no way to neck, straight down. Now, when you do a single leg kick, we're gonna do some leg kicks and it's gonna destabilize the pelvis. What I want you to do is make sure that you don't allow one hip to go too low. You will only kick as high as where you could keep your glutes off the mat. So I'll explain, you bridge up, and you're gonna inhale, point, and then exhale, flex. You're gonna point, kick up, and then you're gonna exhale, flex. So we're gonna do six each side. Exhale, three more. Keep the pelvis lifted so one side doesn't lower. Two more, inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale, exhale. Now you bend that knee, no way to neck. Set it next to the other foot. Hips to sky, tailbone long. And then you're gonna bend that knee, point and flex. Keep the pelvis level steady, point and flex. Only the leg moves. The less stable side, you might have the pelvis move a little. Three more. Inhale, rise up, exhale, flex. Two more, inhale, exhale, press hips to sky. And last one, inhale, exhale, press hips to sky. Fold that knee in. Now press hips to sky, lengthen. Now release through your breastbone. Exhale, soften your breastbone, bring it to the mat. Feel middle back thoracic spine contact mat. Now inhale. Now exhale, roll down a little more. All the way. Inhale. 
Exhale, articulate the spine as long as you don't have hardware holding it together. As long as you're allowed to articulate your spine, do so all the way to the tailbone. Hug legs in, gently release low back. Maybe curl up if you don't have osteoporosis. Breathe into the space, lean back between those two shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale. Excellent, release. Okay, now we're just gonna balance it out a little bit by going into our core. What I want you to do when you go into your core, you're gonna lie on your stomach, and then your feet are gonna be side by side. Your hip bones and pubic bone are down securely on your mat. And then you're just gonna take your arms, think of a W shape, and then I'm gonna have you elevate with the W, tilt your chin a little bit to the front of your neck, and then you keep your neck long that way, scoop your core tight, lower down, four more, Lift, space, cross collarbones, chest, and down. Three, scoop in, and down. Two more, scoop in, and down. Last one, scoop in, and down. Okay, we're gonna add on. Long lever makes it a little harder. We don't have weight, so we're gonna use the weight of our arms to make it more difficult. So, you're gonna inhale up, scoop in, exhale, press those arms, inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, lift, scoop your core, exhale. Inhale, chest open, exhale, down. And inhale, exhale, back down. Two more. Last set. And down, awesome. Now, your hands are gonna be a little wider by your sides. And then I want you to feel how shoulders drop away from your ears. Now see if it's okay to slowly extend the arms. And then I only want you to lift up. If you wanna do middle back thoracic extension, your hands are closed, your elbows are close. You are just gonna do a tiny baby, baby lift, shoulders out of ears. And I want you to just lift your heart through. Open heart, lift, lower, three more. Open your chest, tiny little lift. That's gonna go into your thoracic spine. Hips, pubic bone firm in that. One more. Okay, if you're comfortable and you have the strength and flexibility and it doesn't hurt your low back, you can go out a little deeper with the arms and lift higher. The higher up you go, the deeper down your back you go. So then you would be here and you'd be lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. Shoulders out of ears, come back down and lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Get that deep stretch in those abdominals. Your core is pulling deeply into your back. Scoop in, zip up. You're gonna feel those glutes. Inhale, exhale, tox the feet or press down into your mat. One more time, breathing in. Breathing in facilitates extension. You have to make sure your spine is stable to inhale up, to get up higher. Otherwise, you would exhale to support your spine deeper. Gently come in. Rock side to side. I'm not gonna do rocking swan today. I broke it into two parts. So now I'm gonna do some hip extension leg lifts. You can rest your forehead on the backs of your hands. And then basically you're gonna get this part of your glute to turn on. The energy flows through the back of your hamstrings down into your feet. And then before you do anything at all, you have to inhale, you elongate your spine. You exhale, scoop your abdominals, the power of your core transfers through the hips and it goes down into your feet. So ready, begin. You inhale and then you exhale, the legs lift up. You inhale and then you exhale, lift from the top of your thigh, your glute. Exhale, those legs lift up. Inhale, exhale, they lift up. Use your core and six, engage those glutes, scoop it. Five and four, exhale. And three, exhale, two more. And last one. Place your hands by sides of body, tighten your core in, push up to your hands and your knees. Now float back into a little rest pose here. Stretch your breastbone through the arms, relax your forehead into the mat. Inhale, and then exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. And I'm not gonna do rolling like a ball today in Pilates but the reverse rolling like a ball. In classical Pilates, to do your back release, you would curl the toes under, 
and then you would actually bring your head against the mat and then you would reach back and form that ball. The neck is long. You would reach for your heels and form that ball and you're gonna feel your entire back open in the space. Scoop your core tight. Again, osteoporosis, you don't do this. You don't round your back. Tailbone long. It's like doing that cat in the low back. Feel the low back lumbodorsal fascia open apart. Feel the spine stretch between your shoulder blades. Now gently come back out of it. And then we're gonna slide back into the mat for one more exercise. And I'm gonna have you do little single leg kicks now. We did single leg reaches before. We're gonna do single leg kick now. Your hips are firm in the mat. And then sometimes I'll do flexion. Sometimes I'll do um, just heels where you go like that, heels flex, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. So we're gonna do one of each right now. And you don't wanna move your hips at all. Your core is lifting so much into your spine that your pelvis stays stable. And then it's like, you're gonna stretch your tailbone long, and then you're pressing your forearms into the mat, opening wide across collarbones. And now you're gonna go inhale, exhale down. Actually, we're gonna do the opposite. I have to feel it. Just like I said, I have to feel it first. Point and flex, down. Inhale, exhale, keep pelvis stable. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Maybe you'll look over your shoulder and you'll inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, exhale, down, stretch side and neck. Inhale, exhale, pelvis stable. Work those hamstrings, keep hips stable. Inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, exhale, down. Three more. Inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, I'm getting mixed up now. Inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, exhale, down. Last set. Inhale, exhale, down. One more. Inhale, exhale, and down. That was a good hamstring. Core, pelvic girdle stabilizer. Blades and back are stabilized. Once again, hands under the shoulders. Press up the hands and knees. And just sit back, hips over heels for a regular rest pose, balasana. Inhale, exhale. Sit bones reach back behind you. Stretch spine, opposing energies. Inhale, exhale, slowly come up. All right, next I'm gonna have you do something for your side obliques before we finish. And basically what I want you to do here, you're gonna come up onto your forearm actually, and you're gonna bring your heels a little bit out in front of your hips. And then make sure you avoid collapsing your ribs those bottom ribs need to lift up. And then what I'm gonna have you do here, you're gonna take your top leg, you're scooping in, and then I want you to just kick and down. So you're gonna lift the leg up, inhale, exhale, bring it down, lift those ribs. Inhale, exhale, two more. Inhale up, exhale down, last one. You're gonna inhale, exhale. Okay, next exercise, you're gonna swing the leg back just a little bit. And then you're gonna pulse twice. And then you're gonna reach back and then kick, kick. Inhale back and now exhale, kick. Lift those ribs, inhale, only the leg moves. Exhale, breathe in, now exhale. Four more, breathe in. We want those obliques engaged. Three more, inhale, exhale. Two more, breathing in, exhale, pelvis is stabilized. One more time, you're gonna inhale, now exhale. And then grab your ankle, that bottom leg is gonna lift and down. Keep pelvis still. Eight, seven, and six, five, four, and three, two more, and come on in, good job. We're just gonna swing to the other side. Your elbow is gonna rest directly under the shoulder joint. Your heels are just gonna come out baby bit. Your ribs are lifted, your chest is open. All right, we have our corset strings wrapping us, and then we're just gonna take our top leg, we're gonna just turn it out a little baby bit, feel the inner thigh wrap into your outer hip and glute, and you're gonna inhale, kick up, ouch, I got a cramp, woo! You're gonna inhale, point, exhale, come back down. Inhale, point, lift, exhale, down. It's all about control, three more. Inhale now, exhale, chest is open, two more. Inhale, exhale, take it down, one more. Breathe in, lift it up, exhale, bring it down. Now, your ribs and hips lengthen apart. Inhale, exhale, and you're just gonna stretch that leg back, open the hip, swing forward. 
Inhale, control. Use the exhale, getting the air out of the lungs. Again, those obliques are wrapping around, those ribs knit together. Exhale, exhale. Spine lengthens. Exhale, use that true breathing muscle, the respiratory muscle, diaphragm. It's a deep feeling from there. Again, it's hard to talk and do it correctly. Four more. Just move leg, avoid moving hips. Three more. Two more. Last one. Gently take your top leg, bring it in front. Now just lift up that bottom leg, really stretch that inner thigh, work your inner thigh, adductors. And eight, seven, stretch leg long, six, scoop your core, five, keep shoulders relaxed, away from yours, four, and three, lift and lengthen, and two. Last one, awesome. All right, so we're gonna come all the way up, and now we're just gonna hold a little plank here. Go into a plank, tailbones long, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale. We're just gonna do a little forward rock, tighten core, rock back. Inhale, exhale, forward and back, rock forward and back. And six, and five, blades down back, spine, low back, elongates, four. And three, scoop your core tight, two more. And last one, excellent. And gently come back, stack your knees, and your ankles on one side of your body. And we're just gonna do a little mermaid. We're just gonna reach up and over, pull towards those ankles. And I just want you to breathe and open up that entire side, up and out of your center. Just really feel those ribs stretch apart, those intercostals from your Pilates breath. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. And gently release, awesome. Let's take the legs to the other side. You're just gonna have your knees and your ankles be stacked. And then they're just one right over the other. You're gonna reach for those ankles. And I just want you to feel like you're elevating up. Your shoulders are down and back. And we're just gonna lift up, up, and then we stretch over. Decompress your spine. Open up your side and just breathe. Feel those ribs opening apart, inhale. And then exhale, openness, breathing in. And exhale, really feel that space open. One more time, inhale. And exhale, release, awesome. Gently just bring feet stacked, ankles crossed. Take a deep inhale here, open. Bring all that positive energy, chi from the universe into your heart center, replenishing your vitality, your energy source. So I thank you for joining me for this Pilates session. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll bring you a yoga bedtime session in the next day or so, so be on the lookout for it. Probably not tonight. If I get ambitious, maybe so, but it'll probably be in a day or two. All right, thanks for joining me, everyone. If you like my channel, please hit share, like, or subscribe. I would be forever grateful to you. Thank you so much. And it was fun working with you today. Take care, everybody. Peace. Bye. Thanks for joining.